he was blind. That means he could not see. And because he was blind, he was accustomed to darkness. He could not see colors. He could not see the rainbow. He could not see the difference between a tree and the sky and a human person. For them, for the blind people, they have no colors. They are just living in darkness. And yet, even if he was a man living in darkness, he saw something in the darkness. That is why, even in the darkness, Bartimaeus, the blind man, said, Jesus, son of David. Jesus, son of David. He saw that, even if he was blind. How did he see that? Because we are able to see something even if we have no eyes. When we are living in darkness, we also become more sensitive. When we are living in darkness, we see lessons that people who can see sometimes miss. You do not appreciate much the beauty of the sunburst or the beauty of the moonrise, or the beauty of the sky, or the blueness of the ocean, because these are ordinary things for us. But for a blind man who lives in darkness, I say now, there are important lessons in life that only darkness can see. There are important lessons in life that only darkness can see. And only those who are willing to, to walk to the dark night will be able to see how beautiful the moon is and how beautiful are the stars. So the first lesson for this morning is that we do not need eyes to be able to see because even in darkness, we will be able to see because there are the most important lessons in life we learn with, not with our eyes, but with the soul, with the spirit. There are lessons that only darkness can teach. But not only that, there are strengths that only weakness can give us. We want to be strong. We want to be free from sickness. We want to be able to walk, to run, to jump, to eat what we like. We want that. It is a sign of health. It is a sign of strength. But my dear brothers and sisters, all of us know that some of the most beautiful lessons in life we learn because the chemotherapy of our cancer was successful. And then we learn beautiful lessons in life in cancer that health cannot teach. We learn many beautiful lessons in life that losing appetite can teach us. You have no appetite. Is that the end of the world? There are lessons there. You are unable to walk. Is that the end of the wor world for you? There are lessons to be learned as you are not able to walk, as you are not able to eat. You're not able to stand. You're not even able to go to the toilet. You're not even able to talk because there is a tube inside your mouth. But there are lessons in life that only getting sick, that only being weak, that only being unable to stand up and walk can teach us. In other words, the prayer we ask, the, the prayer we address the Lord is this. Lord, in my weakness, be with me. Lord, in my strength, be with me. Because there are lessons in life that strength can teach. But there are lessons in life that only sickness and weakness can teach. Darkness is a good teacher. Darkness is a good eye for the soul. Sickness, weakness is a good teacher. Because an easy life is a bad teacher. And the last lesson which is in the latter part of the gospel, I say, 
Silence. Silence has a good melody. Silence is a good music. There is a melody that only silence can teach us. There is a beautiful harmony that only silence can teach us. And in a world that is always accompanied by music, by gossip, by cuento, silence is the language of God. And silence has a melody that no singer can sing. Silence has a harmony. Silence has a beautiful hymn that no voice will be able to understand. Bartimaeus fell silent. He told the Lord, I want to see. There was a lull. And it felt like eternity. And in that silence, he was able to see. There is an eyesight. There is a beautiful harmony that only silence can teach us. So this Sunday, please take home with you three words. Darkness, weakness, silence. Darkness has a good teacher. It has a different kind of eye. Weakness, weakness is a good teacher which strength cannot teach us. Silence, Silence is beautiful music that no melody will be able to sing. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, it is the opposite of what you will see today outside the church. Because when it turns dark, we turn on our lights. We are afraid of the darkness. And if it is dark at night, we get jittery. We get anxious. Why is the corp without power? Why are we without lights? Why are the bulbs off? But be comfortable with darkness because darkness is beautiful lessons. If you get sick, pray to get well. But if the Lord wills you to get sick, ask the Lord, stay with me, Lord. And that is enough for me. Without internet, without YouTube, without Facebook, without music from the cell phone, without anyone texting you, do you get anxious? Do you get afraid? You feel forgotten? You feel ignored? You feel worthless? Let the cell phones be silent. Yet YouTube and Facebook be silent. Let the television be silent. Let the lips of your gossiping friends be silent. And in that silence, allow the Lord to speak to you a beautiful melody that only silence can sing.